Alright guys, today I've got the video. This is going to be my full review on the LG G-Tab 8.3. And I'm going to try to go through as much as I can on this device. Uh, this is really new for me. I've not played with the LG skin really all that much, just a couple times. So I'm going to kind of learn as we go. And hopefully this movie won't be too long, but I'm going to try to get very in-depth with it as I can uh, to show it to you without boring you out. So let's get into this video and give this a shot. So here you go. This is going to be your stock skin when you boot up. It's going to look exactly like this. you got this cool uh, kind of springy transmission, or transition, I should say, um, right here at the end of your screens. You can see how it kind of springs back and forth when you're scrolling. Very snappy. Um, quite quick, actually. Very, very cool. Cool features right there. Um, I, I like some of the features in uh, the LG skin. It does have some nice stuff in here. You can see a whole bunch of different things you can do on here. All your little quick things, battery saver, i probably turn that on. It's always nice to have. Screen timeout, uh, wireless manage, edit. And you can actually adjust the order of all of these things. So, for example, what is something I always mess with? So I always mess with Wi-Fi. You can carry it up to the top. Um, what else do I mess with a lot? Not GPS, screen rotation, probably I do quite a bit with. Putting that up there. Battery saver, I like that one a lot too. Put that up there, and you can see you can just go ahead and wireless storage. That's cool. That's going to be interesting. I'm kind of curious to how that functions. We're going to have to get into some of these settings. But you can see that's your, your, your quick toggles. You can see they're reordered up here on top like I just did. You do have Q, Q slide applications, which is everything in here. And I think you can actually edit all of these as well. So you can see if there's ones you like or you don't like, whatever. You can, uh, you can go ahead and change those around. So pretty nice. Definitely like like that feature as well. Brightness, um, and then some notification sounds, or you can hit settings right here, and you can see all of the sounds and sound levels. Turn this off because I don't want to see it right now. Oh, that's kind of cool. Did you see that? Shows you you can tap and turn the screen on and off. So screen off, screen on. There's a lock screen. Uh, you can see you have different shortcuts right here on it. Along tells you your battery, tells you your time, and then swipe across and it opens up. Cool, really cool animation for opening up right there. I'm actually liking this skin. This is actually pretty cool. Another thing I've seen is you can do this. So if you have a cool picture in the background and you want to just actually look at the picture of your wallpaper, you can do that. You can swing them back in and you get all of your uh, applications back. Or you can push them in again and you can pick the page you want to jump right to. Um, so pretty cool. Very, very slick and easy to, to use. The gestures are really nice, very intuitive, I think. So there you go, you see notification panel, you've seen your basic home screens. Let's go ahead and check out the app drawer. Um, this thing looks like it's got a lot of applications. So I will go through them as best I can here. So you can see you have a calculator. This is their basic look of their calculator. Pretty nice, not bad. Um, calendar, camera. Um, I'm not actually probably gonna use this, but it should have different modes here. You can probably come up and actually look at my camera. There's my camera and my ceiling. Looks bad probably because of my lighting and everything is kind of hitting it that way. But uh, it is there and you can use it if you want. So that's, that's pretty cool. Um, Chrome, contacts, downloads, emails, gallery, all the basic stuff here is sa uh, standard. LG backup. That's, that's interesting. Um, I'm not really seeing this so Carefully select. So you gotta agree to their licensing. Say okay, agree, okay, and then accept. And you can schedule backups, which is very interesting. It tells you about your internal storage, your SD card. You can restore stuff. I'm not really sure how these backups work. Um, a little curious on that myself. Maybe play with it some more, but it's in here. If you guys wanna check that out. Um, Life Square, different things, memos, navigation, notes. Here's your little notebook and you can do different notes in it. Say OK. New note. You know, draw something or whatever whatever you want to do. Um, so pretty cool. 
definitely definitely some neat uh, neat features here for sure come back out of that uh, games different oh, this is all Google standard Google stuff you have Q pair um, new version of crew pair available so you can update it we'll go ahead and run the update so this is interesting this is app updates so this is a uh, way to update your LG applications it's almost like their own app store so I'm gonna go ahead and update it and that's an app that's in your device as well or on your device as well that app updates um, so very cool looks like you can pair a bunch of things together different devices and you can sync messages memos internet via phone connection basically it syncs everything up between your two probably I would guess it has to be LG devices but very neat definitely gonna read up on that one also some more you do have a remote right here so obviously one of these ports along the top is actually an IR blaster so you can uh, program that and control your TV with this or your cable so also a nice little feature doing that more and more on tablets I have some Samsung tablets that do that as well phones even too which is very very cool so right there there's that update center you saw that we just updated that software or that uh, application with and actually it looks like that does apps or software updates so if you want to come in here and check for a software update that's where you're gonna do it and uh, let's see what else we got here we have voice recording some weather and YouTube and and we have some more um, you can see you have a file manager and all of its information on here videos different files all files you can look at them internal you'd have external there too if, if you hadn't a chip in it I don't have a card in it right this minute um, but very nice little interface right there different things quick translate smart world LG smart world their little application upgrade required not right now and task manager right here shows you some running applications RAM free used that kind of stuff as well very nice little interface for it dictionary and box I'm not sure what box is XX manage and share files so it'd be like a cloud service of some sort um, that they have in here just go ahead and let's go check out the widgets so a bunch of different clocks which is very cool um, see what else we have here another digital clock most of this stuff looks pretty standard with most devices some music players that are unique for LG part of their skin settings shortcut task um, Ooh, that's pretty cool task manager but it tells you about your RAM that's actually pretty neat so this will show you your RAM that's free and you can just hit it in a clear RAM shaboom now you got a ton more free RAM I like that widget a lot that's really cool very nice little widget right there let's see what else we have in here a little bit of weather stuff and then back around so very very nice definitely liking that um, one of the other things I can show you which I thought was really cool you can see I'm charging this right now so if I can do this I just gotta show you this this is pretty neat I just thought it was a really cool thing when I plug this device in um, so watch watch what happens when I plug it in right at the bottom of the screen do, 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 do. just shows you a little bit of USB cable plugging in just kind of pops up and shows it to you I thought that was pretty cool you can hear the notifications are uh, interesting All right, I gotta show you guys this feature I thought this was very very cool um, if you're on your home screen you can come in here and you can see your system settings your lock screen settings your home screen settings apps and widgets but you can also go to themes so this is very very slick and does have some really cool stuff so you can see some two themes you have right here that you basically come with the device but you can click right here and you can come in to this which is the LG uh, application um, and you can download new themes um, to go ahead and do some themes I'm actually gonna do this top one it looks like one of the best themes there is so we're gonna actually go ahead and go in here and then go it says it's free so let's download it and it looks like you do have to have an account with them so I'm actually not going to download it but just to show you guys the coolness of uh, the theming and how that functions you have all this stuff to choose from there's a lot more in here than even just themes so you have all these things you guys can choose from which I thought was very very cool different things you can download and install from LG specifically you do have to create an account it looks like register but not really a big deal um, should, shouldn't be too hard to do if you guys want to do this but definitely some really cool features I like that there's theming like built into this uh, device I think that's awesome 
So very, very cool. Definitely digging that it has themes in on this device on the LG G-Pad. Um, I love that. So definitely this thing's got some good features in it. Um, they've taken, it looks like they've taken some tips from some of the ROM developers and some of the stuff that's going on in the development community and kind of interlated into their skins. So I absolutely love that. Um, definitely like the features I'm seeing on this device. All right, another thing I wanted to show you guys that I, I just found I thought was very, very cool was I talked a little bit about this Q-Slide applications, but I really didn't show it to you guys, so let me show it to you. I think it's pretty neat. Um, basically, how Q-Slide works is it's very much like Samsung and its multi-window. Um, it lets you open up a smaller application. So if we hit Calculator, you can see you have this smaller application on here that uh, is on your screen, and you can do other things behind it like going to, going to Chrome or something like that. Um, the other thing that's cool with it is you can actually slide this thing around, obviously, but then this little button, you can actually make it fade out and then bring it back, which is just kind of neat. I think that's where they get the Q slide from. The other thing you can do is you can hit this button and then it'll enlarge it full screen. So anytime you see this in an application, obviously you can use it as this uh, smaller application. So I'll show you another one calendar and here's a small calendar same thing if you want to make it big now it's big or you can bring it back down small or you can close it out or you can fade it out like I showed you with a uh, little button right there so very very neat um, definitely a cool feature like I said very much like multi window for some of the Samsung devices um, definitely digging the Q slide applications um, and how that works, you know, especially if I use file browsers a lot. So you got a file browser here You can do the same thing with check out all your files or open it up all the way and uh, See it all this way again Like I said if you see that on your application just know that you can shrink it down and uh, do some cool things with it So a nice little feature um, Definitely this thing's pretty loaded into settings through well here right here. This will work and it goes through the settings so you can see different different screens on this. Bluetooth, data usage, more. Let's go check out more. Um, airplane mode, wireless storage, share files with computer via Wi-Fi. So I'm not sure how that works. That's kind of cool. Mirrorcast, show your tablet display, sound on TV, also neat. Smart share beam, VPN. Different things you can turn on. I like the little toggles. It's on-off toggle. It's just a different look than like stock Android. So that that's a pretty neat little uh, setup right there. And let's go ahead and look through these. You got sound and basic stuff there. Display, brightness, the knock knock on, double tap for turning screen on and off features, and settings right there. Fonts and font sizes. Uh, Daydream for clock, turn on and off, touch sounds, aspect ratio, just a bunch of different things you got in there. Storage, basically your capacity. This is the, technically it's a 16 gig, but you really only have truly 11 gigs of free storage. You can see it right there, total space. Um, battery, you can come in here and turn on battery saver. Um, show percentage, I always like doing that. So now you can see your percentage right up there on the top. Definitely a nice feature I always use. Applications downloaded applications running applications all applications and you can see and scroll scroll through these slide aside oh that's interesting so if an application is running you should be able to use three fingers gets rid of it and then if you bring three fingers it brings it back that's very very cool you can normally do that by like um Normally it's like hold the home button on different devices, different things where you can see other lists of running applications and kind of jump between them. But that three finger thing, that's a cool feature. Again, LG has some neat little uh, things up their sleeve. So back up and res reset. Got some features there. Connect PC, different stuff, accessories. And you can get into here about different things like that, docs and whatnot. And then obviously this is gonna be hardware. Um, about, about tablet, so you have your tablet name, update center, battery stuff. Let's go check out the uh, software. So you can see right here you're running Android 4.2.2. It's your kernel, your build number, and then I always do this because you need to turn on USB debugging to do this. So you're going to tap your build number a bunch of times. And that's going to enable this right here, developer options. 
and you'll be able to get in here and turn on obviously turn it on and then turn on USB debugging and that way you get your drivers to install correctly when you hook it to your computer so we can do some hacking and you'll see that kind of stuff obviously in some videos to come here so very very cool um, settings definitely has some some fun features in it I know there's deeper settings in there like you can actually rearrange the order of your little buttons down here along the bottom um, and change that up and even put I think a white bar down there or a black bar or whatever different different looking stuff on there which is pretty neat um, if you get into the settings some more so yeah that's gonna be pretty much it for software on this device it does have some definite cool features in it I'm sure there's more that I'm not gonna cover and just can't get to but everything I've seen so far I like some of the customization that this LG you know interface skin however you want to call it has I'll probably actually leave this thing pretty much die for a little while here anyway I mean I'm gonna show you guys how to flash ROMs and stuff but this is gonna be uh, a different experience for me so I'll probably play with it for like this just like this for quite some time here but uh, there you go that's gonna be it that's gonna be my full review here of the LG G pad 8.3 inch hope you guys like this video and as always root junkie out